show you guys how to child-proof Proloquo to go so that the child can't make changes to it. The first thing that you can do is go down under Options, the gears down at the bottom, then scroll down till you see Restrictions and press on Restrictions. You'll see different options that you have. The first one is um, says Edit Mode. That's your pencil down at the bottom to add, delete, and change buttons and folders. You can turn that off so they don't have access to that. So now you'll see the pencil is gone. The next one is add and share. Um, whenever, I'm gonna go out of this, whenever you make a sentence I in Proloco to go, more um, you'll, I want see, more water. you'll see that there's a little arrow that appears here. That's your share button. So if I had Twitter and Facebook on here, those would be options as well. But whatever options you have available on your iPad, you can um, share the sentence or you can add the button to the page or copy it to put somewhere else on the iPad. So if we don't want the child to be able to do that, under restrictions, we're gonna turn that off. The next one's typing view. You have three different views on Proloquo to go. You have your grid view, which is showing now, and then you have recents view and typing view. So if we wanna turn off the typing view button so the child doesn't have the keyboard show up, um, we can go ahead and turn that off if they don't need that and that's confusing them. And then recents view, I'll show you what that is. Um, any sentences that they've made within the last 15 minutes or so on will show up if they press recents view so they don't have to put them in all over again. If we, we have add and share turned on in restrictions, there'll be a green plus here to add that sentence um, to Proloquo to go. So we're going to go ahead and turn off recents view and we'll see that the two squares with our different views is gone because all that we have now is a grid view. The next button that we have down here is the keyboard button. So we can turn off the keyboard and that takes that away. And then the last one is restore from backup. So if you do not want the child to be able to go to backups and restore from a previously saved backup, then you'll wanna go ahead and turn that off. One thing I want to share really quickly, um, I'm not sure if it's meant to be this way or not, but the keyboard button, right now I have my keyboard set up as a grid keyboard. If we have our keyboard under options, under interaction, under the toolbar button, keyboard, if we have it under typing view keyboard instead, and then we go to restrictions, when we go to turn the if typing views on and we go to turn the keyboard button off, it will not get rid of that keyboard. Um, that's a typing view keyboard. And so you have to turn off typing view to get rid of that keyboard. So I hope that helps there in case someone comes across that. Now let's say that you don't want your child to get into options at all, that they may be able to get into restrictions and turn things back on. Well, the other option that you have is password. It's in options at the very bottom, so you can set a password so that it has to be entered every time options is opened up. So we can go ahead and turn that on, change a password. You pick something that's very simple to remember. You have to enter it in twice, and then you press the blue save button. It says password saved. And then when we go out of options, when we press it again, you'll notice that we have to press options or we have to put in a password to get into options again. Now let's say that we don't even want this options button to show up down here. We don't even want them to be able to um, try to get into it. What you're gonna do is go under the general settings of the iPad. So we're gonna close out Proloquo to go and we're gonna go to the settings button and we're going to scroll down on the left all the way down until we see all the apps. When we see Proloquo to go, we're going to go ahead and touch it. And then we'll see Show Options button is on. So we're going to turn that off. So close settings, go back to Proloquo to go. And you'll notice that all we have left down on the bottom is a home button. So that's for if we um, School. go to a different page and we can press that to go back to the home page. So that's all that's left. So let's say we want to get that options button back again because we have some editing to do. We simply go back under settings, find Proloquo to go, and we turn it back on. We go back to Proloquo to go, and our options button is back again. So I hope that helps.